Good day, everyone. This is Barnman. And Helio 77. Welcome back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Friday, October 25th, 2024. A.K.A. Fruits Day. Harvest Tide. Welcome to the small town of Woodland Springs. It is a nice place to stop and explore before continuing onward. Before you can begin to walk around the town, a critter wrapped in blankets begins to have a coughing fit and collapses to the ground. Cor's going to need to figure out what to do. Betty and Furry can try to provide some wisdom in the determination. Betty, go. Three. Is that what we need? Just a three or a four? We need a three. We need a four. Uh, furry, go. Void command, furry, go. Royal command, furry, go. All the royal commands used up for the page. Let's go ahead and do your wisdom roll then. You only get a plus one. Fourteen. You catch the critter before she falls and injures herself, noting that she has a burning fever. You may be able to offer her one of your health potions. Do you? Yes. It's going to take your health potions down to five. Dun, dun, dun. But because you assisted, you gain one virtue. It takes your virtue up to nine. Aura, you are, you have two. Too much virtue. The few sips that the critter takes helps to subdue her fever. She feels better by the time some help arrives to take her to the local clinic. Cora continues moving through the small town of Woodland Springs and finds a market where a small vole is selling some wares. It is clear though by the missing stalls and sparse shoppers that the town is struggling. After that little encounter with the critter, I feel like I'm running a bit low on health potions. Oh, I could help you certainly with some health potions. Um, how many would you need fine? I, I don't know your name. I'm Cora Wildclaw, and what is your name? Coral Wildclaw, it is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Hazel. Welcome to Woodland Springs. How many health potions would you like to acquire? I think two would be enough to help me. Two will cost you a total of ten amber. Does that sound fair? That is completely okay with me. Oh, I do appreciate it. It's been tough in Woodland Springs. We don't get very many visitors through. Uh, could I also interest you in maybe an antidote or a cleansing crystal? I think I am completely fine with all of it. All right. Well, thank you so very much for shopping, and we hope that you'll remember us and come back to visit soon. I will definitely after my journey home. It's going to take Cora down to 45 amber, but it takes health potions up to seven. As Cora leaves the marketplace, a flyer depicting the image of a critter is thrust into her face. Have you seen my brother? He didn't come home last night. We are awfully worried, cries a warthog who is in distress over his missing sibling. Don't worry. I'll go out and find him. It is time to think that I do recently. Cora can try to get some assistance. It's an intellect role, so get some assistance from Patty, perhaps? Patty! You are going to need a three or a four. Three. It's a three. Now you need a five through nine. It's a, it's a six. That is perfect. That's going to give you a plus two. You also have plus two on intellect. It's a plus four all together. And, pause, it's an investigator role. That means that Tusk could try to help. Tusk, go! 
You are going to need a three or a four. Three. That is, and that's all you need. You don't need to do another roll on that. That's a plus six altogether. Sixteen. You discover that the young warthog was hanging out with some friends at the nearby lake late at night. There are signs of a struggle at a muddy campground, but there are no leads to where they could be. You also discover that the friends had all gotten sick the night before. The family offers you three amber for your assistance. Thank you. I don't know where your brother has gone, but hopefully I can find him sooner or later. Oh, I really do hope you'll continue looking for him because we are very worried. Don't worry, I will find him. Hopefully, he is not in that series of trouble. Of course, Amber's going to go up to 48. And I don't think we need to write anything down. It's not like you're continuing looking, but I guess if... She does come across a lost warthog. I would think that she would help him back to Woodland Springs. Thank you for continuing your journey with us as Cora continues her journey. We'll see you tomorrow. Farewell. When I was a young warthog. <laughs> no, we are not doing that. <laughs>